Everything you need to know about the Balinese Baorung dance. Bali is not only famous for its scenic beaches or temples but also for the unique art and culture. One of the Bali cultural heights is the famous Baorung dance, which is a must-watch when on a holiday on this island. Baorung dance is one of the original dances of Bali and finds its origins in the ancient Balinese mythology. The uniqueness of the Balinese dance always contains a story. Baorung dance, narrating the mythological fight between good and bad. It also includes drama in it and you will also see the appearance of dancers doing kikak dance and ligong dance. If you have such an interest in culture and arts then these dances would be a favorable performance for you. The dances are basically held in various stages in several areas on the island. Most of them are scheduled on a daily basis and are located in the main tourist areas. Other than that, you will see the Gamelan Orchestra walks along the show from the start until its end. This is why if you are planning to visit Bali for your holiday then this show cannot be missed out. Note. Until now, Baorung dances themselves are scared. Before being performed Baorung must be given a special ritual. If not, Baorung will be more dangerous for dancers and their audience. This ritual is staged specifically for the safety of the village. The mystical value of Baorung is always maintained. Those who have the opportunity to become Baorung dancers should have the natural ability to become ones. Type of Baorung The diversity of species also colors the existence of Baorung dance in Bali. The many types of dances are due to the fact that each area in Bali has its own guardian spirit which is then depicted in the form of certain animals. The type of Baorung in Bali is divided into several forms such as 1. Baorung Kit or Ki Ket. Lion Baorung as Banaspati Raja means, king of the jungle, the most common Baorung, it is the symbol of a good spirit. 2. Baorung Bankal. Bankal is an old pig in Bali and is considered a mythical animal that has strength. 3. Baorung Mao Chan. Baorung shaped like a tiger that lives in the forest, its fur resembles a tiger fur made of velvet fabric. 4. Baorung Ashu. Very sacred Baorung Ashu is in Pachung Tabanan. Paraded especially on Galangan and Kuningan holidays. 5. Baorung Goja. The shape resembles an elephant from India. Baorung is paraded around the village on Galangan and Kuningan holidays. 6. Baorung Lon Dung. Baorung Lon Dung manifests like two male and female dolls, which are called, Jero Lu, and Jero Gede. 7. Baorung Bruthuk. The masks worn are made of coconut shells and the costumes are made of dried banana leaves. This Baorung symbolizes the holy creatures, the companions of Ida Ratu von Chering Jorgut, who reside at von Chering Jorgut Temple, Trunian. 8. Baorung Kedinkling. Baorung Blasblasen or Kedinkling is very much different from other types of Baorung, which is more like a mask costume with each character being danced by a dancer. The stories and characters are exactly the same as those in Wyang Wong. Those are some kinds of Baorung dance in Bali, and Baorung Kit or Ki Ket is the most common type performed in Bali and the most complete in the vocabulary of dance movements. In its form, this Baorung combines the forms of lion, tiger, cow and dragon. The entire body of the Baorung Kit decorated with traditional Balinese carvings made from cow hide. In the sculptures, there are dozens of small glass mirrors. When there are lights hits the small mirror glass, create a sparkling form of view of the Baorung Kit. On the body of Baorung Kit, you also will see much fur. The wool made from the dried fibers leaves and usually use pandan leaves. It required two dancers to wear the Baorung Kit costume. At the same time during the performance of Baorung Ket dance, also perform Rangda dance. Rangda is a figure which looks very sinister, due to be used to symbolize evil. Short description of Baorung dance. The story is about a lady with a beautiful daughter who lives in Gira, a village part of the Daha kingdom. 
Her name was Shalon Arang and her daughter was Ratna Mangali. Despite her beauty, Ratna didn't receive any marriage proposals, this was because the villagers looked down at Shalon Arang who was left by her husband. Holding a grudge, Shalon Arang read her holy book and went to meditate on the grave of Bharada's wife, thus summoning the goddess Durga whom bestowed upon her supernatural powers. Every night, Shalon Arang would complete a ritual. She would wash her hair in blood and wear the intestines of the deceased as jewelry. She would then transform, with her supernatural powers, into the form of Rangda, a demon witch. She and her apprentice would parade through the villages, spreading disease and pestilence. The troops of Daha kingdom then rose against the raging Rangda, only to be bewitched, stabbing their own chests instead of stabbing the supernatural being. The troops were then supported by MPU Baradar, taking the form of Baurung, who battles against Rangda too. Unlike your usual Hollywood movie, neither Rangda or Baurung wins the battle in this story. This is to symbolize the Shivaist theological concept of RWA Binada, two opposite that are required to bring balance to the world. The enlightenment of oneself is required before erasing darkness in others. There will be two dancers inside a heavy Baurung costume that will manage and work out the movements. It looks similar to the Chinese lion dance. There are also many supporting dancers around and they portray villages, priests, and monkeys. The myth about Baurung dance. The local Balinese believes that the spirits are the fellow conspirator of the majesty of Gede Mechaling. The queen ruled the unseen nature and until now she stays in the southern ocean of Bali located in Pura Dalem of Nusa Panida. Back then, a powerful and respected priest advised the local people to create a statue for the resemblance of the Queen Gede Mechaling. The figure is pretty tall, black, and has fangs. People later paraded it around the village and this trick works to stop the bad spirits. The spirits were frightened to see the form of the big boss. Until now, many villagers would periodically parade Baurung Landung in order to avoid any disaster. Things to know about the Baurung dance Before you watch the show, commonly pamphlets with synopses on it will be handed right at the ticket booth. This is why you can learn the brief story or the outline of this dance. If you do not read it then it might be very possible if you have no idea what you are watching. Other than that, the narration is so little since the performance is dominated by dancers. The first thing you will see is the dancing monkeys enter the stage as the drama unfolds. The monkey playfully teases around the peaceful and orderly forest. The Baurung will come over later. The piece showed since the first time the performance was started would be disturbed by some troublemakers. And it turns out that Rangda sent them all and a scuffle ensues. Rangda has also set out black magic across the forest and recruiting more followers at the same time. As a result, the followers turn into malevolent beings as well. The palace guards even sign himself up to the black magic of Rangda. This is when you see the Bardan tries to protect and defend the kingdom and got into a one on one situation with Rangda. It seems unequal though, considering Rangda always bring her black magic everywhere. Other than that, she always wears her signature white cloth that swings the malevolent spells on its every swoosh. The climax scene shows the guards of the palace in trance. They scream very loudly and start fiercely stabbing their chests with the daggers named Chris. However, there is no harm caused considering they are under the spell of black magic that will keep them endured in any case. Later, the Baurung will come to the rescue and try to lift the spell of those who got inflicted by it. Other than that, you will see that a priest also comes around the spot and sprinkles holy water so the kingdom can be fully revived. It also means that Rangda is defeated. Basically, there are various versions of the story and each stage or location where the show took place has its own story. The masks that the Barong dancers use, are considered scared items and before they are used, a priest must bless them by sprinkling them with holy water taken from Mount Aging, and by making a furrings. 
Baorung dances will typically be performed during the Galangan festival, but will also be performed when there is illness or misfortune in the village. The villagers believe that they will chase the bad things from their village by performing this dance. This is still common practice in everyday life in Bali. The performance lasts around one hour and at the end of the show, you will be able to take pictures with the performers on stage. They still wear their full costumes and the Gamelan Orchestra would be glad to take pictures with you too. Traditional Music Instrument As mentioned earlier, there would be music accompanied the dance right from the start. Balinese traditional music from Gamelan Orchestra would be something you will hear, sending such a mystical sense to the whole room. You might feel that the sound is strange and weird but after a few minutes, you will definitely be enjoying the whole show as well as the music. Other than that, Gamelan has been part of the traditional music of Indonesia. Many studies have been subjecting Gamelan. Can I bring my kids watching Baorung dance? Actually, the Baorung dance is one of the most intriguing dances and performances on the island. Other than that, the dancers are very talented which could be courage for your kids to be whatever they want to be when they grow up. However, there would be a scene where people stabbing their chests fiercely by using their keris and it could be a violent scene to be watched by kids. Sometimes, you may also hear some naughty, Balinese humor, screamed by the monkeys. So, before you decide to watch Bali Baorung dance, you should ask your children if they're brave enough to watch Balinese Baorung dance performance. You can do this by showing your kids how Balinese Baorung dance performed video. This way, you will know that your children brave enough to watch Baorung dance. Where to watch? This dance is now not only performed for local people in certain events, but also featured in various tourism events. Apart from being part of the tourist attraction, it is also a form of Balinese business in preserving their traditions and culture. There are two places that are very famous for this dance, namely in Batubulan and Ubud. Finally, that was all you need to know about Baorung dance. Thank you for watching, hope you were enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell please. Have a great day.